Hello educators, this is Troy Gerard, your instructional designer, and in this video, we're going to take a look at rubrics and how to assign them to gradable items in your course, coming up. So the first thing that we want to do is go to the Gradebook tab located on the top of your screen. And once we're in the Gradebook tab, we want to go to the Gradebook settings, which is this gear icon on the top right. The Gradebook settings then open up. And we're going to stroll about midway through our course. We'll see uh, grade categories. And right below grade categories, we have course rubrics. Now with this big button here, you can create a brand new rubric. You can see that we have those example rubrics here. I'm going to just click on one of these. So we can take a look at what a rubric looks like. It has editable fields for criteria. Um, we can edit the titles. We can remove titles. We can add more uh, fields if we want, uh, you know, five this way and more going this way. We have each category and the total. Um, we can adjust these based on percentage, percentage range, point or point range. And Blackboard has a fantastic uh, video to show you all the different settings of how to build a rubric. So specifically, I wanted to just show you guys how to assign this rubric to assignments, uh, how you can use the same rubric for multiple assignments. Uh, so I'm going to retitle this here so we know exactly which one we are looking at. And I'm going to hit save. So... They're all alphabetical order here on the right. You can see that my testing rubric is down here at the bottom. And if I want to go and edit any one of these, it does have an ellipsis by the side. I can duplicate so I can make a, a copy of this or I can manage all of these by deleting them. So now that I have a testing rubric out there, I'm going to go into the content of my course. And first, I'm going to find a gradable item. So I know that I have some here in module one. I have one that's titled Learning Activity. I'm going to go into this Learning Activity. You can see that it doesn't have a grading rubric here in our settings. So I'll go into my Assignment Settings. And if I scroll down to the bottom, it will have Use Grading Rubric under Additional Tools. So I can hit Add Grading Rubric. I can then go and find this rubric. And I can either view it and see what one, is this the right one that I want? Uh, or I can just hit add. And now you can see that it has added this testing rubric. In order to remove this, I can just simply hit the trash can icon. But I'm going to hit save at the bottom. And now we can see that the rubric itself uh, is attached to this uh, learning activity gradable item. Going back to my module one, I can see that I have a formative assessment. I have an assignment, uh, you know, with a rubric. So if I wanted to assign that same rubric to both of these assignments, I can simply do that by going into the setting of that individual assignment. Go down to the bottom. We can see that this one has one of those sample rubrics. I can hit the trash can to delete it, and then I can add grading rubric. Find the testing rubric and hit add and save. So now that testing rubric is being used for multiple assignments. Uh, you do have the ability to add this to a discussion. So I have a discussion here, or you can go to your discussion tab on the top of your course, find this discussion and go in to the settings and find that this one has a rubric. I'm going to hit the trash can, add grading rubric, and I can go down to the bottom and hit add. So now that grading rubric is used at three levels. One is an item, uh, a gradable item is an activity. The other one's an assignment. And here we have a discussion. So you're able to use rubrics for multiple assignments. Now, say I wanted to move this discussion into another course. Uh, I can simply copy this. I can go out to that course. I can copy this discussion, move it into that. And if the grading rubric is attached to this, the grading rubric will come with that assignment. If it is not attached, the rubric will not come to that assignment. 
Currently, um, this is June 2022. Currently, Blackboard doesn't have the ability to move rubrics between courses uh, or copy specific rubrics individual courses. Uh, so you want to attach them to an assignment, move that assignment into that next course, and then you'll have that rubric with it. So let's review. You're going to go to your Gradebook tab at the top of your course. You're going to go to Gradebook Settings, which is this gear icon, and scroll down to the bottom and you'll find Course Rubrics. You can edit a rubric by clicking on the rubric. You can go and edit any of these fields. You can add points. You can change the rubric type, whether it's percentage or percentage range, point or point range. You can name the rubric what you want it to be. Once it's done, then you're able to attach it to assignments. I hope this video was helpful. If you need any additional help with your Blackboard course, feel free to reach out, or you can go to help.blackboard.com. Thanks for watching.